Hey everyone, Travis here from Travis.media. So I just got another addition to the home office. It is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor. In this video, I want to show you what it's like coding on an ultra wide monitor. There's a lot of debate out there on places like Reddit about ultra wide monitors. Some people are dead set on multiple monitors. And then some people are like, you know what? I tried an ultra wide and I love it. I couldn't imagine going back. Now this video is not to convince the multiple monitor people that they need to go ultra wide, but it's for the people who are like, you know, I like the concept of an ultra wide, but I don't know if there's enough space. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put enough windows on there that I'm using. Like say you have your code editor, your app, and maybe like a Slack channel or something. Is that enough space for me? What if I want to put six windows? Is there enough space for me? So in this video, I'm going to show you hands on what it looks like. Because when I was, I was investigating the ultra wide, that's what I wanted to see. I want to sit behind somebody and be able to see what does it look like on the screen with your coding tools up. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Lots of great videos on the way. So this is the Dell U3415W ultra wide monitor. This is not the latest version. I think there's a 17 and a 19 out by now, but uh, this is the 15, but it's brand new to me. And I wanna show you how I use this in my daily workflow. So before I get to the coding part of it, in general, if I'm just sitting here on Amazon or just reading a blog or browsing the web or something, I don't get a browser size any bigger than this, okay? I usually browse about this browser size, I don't need anything bigger because most websites have like a maxed width container anyway, which is, you know, what, 1500 or so. And once you get bigger than that, you just get a bunch of white space on the side. So if I open this full width, here's all this white space. I don't really need to do it. I don't have any advantages besides maybe having more room for tabs. But uh, if I'm just browsing something, I leave it about this big. I still have lots of room for tabs. If I need to compare it against something else, I can open up a new window and just shoot it over here to the side. And I can see them both at the same time. So that's kind of how I just generally work on an ultra wide monitor. But this video is about coding. So let me get to that. Because for me, that's a whole different process here. And one of the reasons why I got the ultra wide. So when you're coding, you usually have your code editor, you have some kind of website up, some kind of local website that you're working on. So you type some code, you refresh, and you check out the site. You might have a Slack channel or you may have some kind of tutorial open. So a lot of times you need three, four, five screens open at the same time. And what a lot of people do is they have dual monitors or three, four monitors. I didn't opt for that, okay? I don't like dragging windows to other screens and things like that. I wanted it to be all on one, especially since I wanted my MacBook closed. I wanted that closed and I wanted just one big screen to work on. So what I could do is I could just take, you know, my screens, like I could open my code editor and I can say, hey, I want it this big and I want my browser, you know, uh, this big. I want it to be here and I want that to be in the middle. But that's kind of tedious you know, to like move everything manually, though you can do it. But there are some great apps out there to make this a lot easier for you. And reviewing those and taking the time to look through what they offer, I found the best one for me is an app called Divi, D-I-V-V-Y. And it is a, an app that allows you essentially to snap windows to different parts of the screen with a grid where you just drag in the grid where you want it to go or to set short shortcuts. So let me show you both of those. So let's imagine that I have two screens here. I have my code editor and I have the browser window of which I'm working on. So I'm writing the code for this web page and I have it here. And I want it to be like a 50-50. This one 50% of the screen, this one 50%. So to open Divi, I have a shortcut. I just hit command period and it opens this little square here. Let me move this out the way. It opens this square and it tells me right now that Google Chrome is selected. So whatever I do to this, it happens to the Google Chrome window. So I can say, Google Chrome, I want to drag you to 50% of the grid. And that's going to jump it to 50% of the grid. Uh, the code editor, if I wanted this, you know, more than 50%, I could. But I would just put it, you know, 50%. And it's that easy. I just drag them around. Hey, um, 
VS Code, I want you to be down here. I want you to be right here. Wherever I want you, I can just drag you right here on the grid. You can also hit Option and it gives you a more fine-tuned grid if you need that for any reason. But, and I do use this a lot, this is really helpful, but to make it even better, they allow you to put some shortcuts in there. So you can just hit a, hit a key and it'll jump wherever you want. So I have a number of shortcuts set up that I'm gonna show you now. So if I wanted this 50%, let's say I wanted the code editor to the left in the browser to the right, I could just do this. Click on the code editor and I hit option left, boom. And I click the browser and I hit option right, boom. I can jump it right into the spot I want it to be at. Now, a lot of times you want your code editor, your browser, and then something else, like perhaps you're using a, let me uh, kind of move these out of the way. Perhaps you're using a YouTube video for like a coding tutorial, and you want that to be, you know, to the right, your code editor to the middle, and your project to the left. Let's say you want to do that. Well, I have some shortcut keys to set that up as well. So I want, um, what did I say? So I wanted this to the right, I can hit, I have set command right, and it sets it up as a third of the screen. Then I can click this one, and I want this one to be in the middle, so command up, that puts it in the middle, and over here I can hit command left. And that gives me three screens, one third a piece. And that's what's neat, you can set it for, you know, wherever you are usually putting windows, wherever you normally want them to go, like say you wanted six, you can set it up in six different places and you can use Divi to snap it to those places. So the benefit for me, I've used dual screens in the past and I like it. And look, I'm not trying to persuade you against it here because some people are dead set on dual screens or three screens or four screens. And that's fine. It's a great thing to do. But it never really clicked for me. Sometimes I would just leave one screen off. Like I didn't want to mess with it. I'm just working on this one. I just wouldn't use it. And then sometimes I got really irritated of having to drag it across. So I'm going to drag this one all the way over here to this third screen. And then I want it to be this big. And I'm going to drag this one all the way. And what screen did I have this browser window on? Uh, I think it was on the second. You know, I get confused like that. And I, this time, when I, got this, when I went to get a new monitor, I really thought about it. And I really wanted everything to be on one screen. And so with this Divi app, it's really helpful you know, to be able to use shortcuts to just shoot the browser window wherever you want on the screen. I mean, there's lots of real estate. I could have two code editors open. So uh, if I wanted this just here, you know, and I wanted this below it, whoops, too far. If I wanted that below it, and then let's say I wanted this, you know, the majority of the, the whole thing. So here's my code editor, here's my, my browser, and this is three-fourths. And a lot of time you're really doing a, a, a code intensive thing and you really want your uh, editor to be bigger, so say you wanted that four blocks, and then you wanted your browser window to just be open to the side here. So there you go. So that's pretty neat. It's really handy. Divi is a neat thing. The ultra wide is great if you're on the fence about it. And like me, one of the things is I was wondering, what does it look like? Like everybody kept doing these ultra wide reviews where they'd show every little input and output and you know, uh, you know what it looks like and what features it has and, and what the menu items show and all this. But I wanted to know, hey, if I'm sitting behind you and you're coding on an ultra wide, what does it look like? I mean, does it, is it too small? But uh, hopefully this video helps you see what it would be like coding on an ultra wide. And um, this monitor, I think it's down to about 600, 650 bucks now. It's very nice and I'm very satisfied with it. And um, I'm not going to do a review on it because there's already reviews out there. But hopefully that was helpful for you to see how it works. And let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.